October the 1st, 2015, Montreal, Quebec. Enjoying a really beautiful sunny day. And just got through taking pictures at this church. It's a Roman Catholic Church cathedral. It was very, very pretty inside. Today it's in the 40s. It's jacket and jean weather. It's, uh, although it looks warmer than it was the last couple of days, it feels a lot cooler, which is fine. It beats the Texas weather for a little bit. Who would imagine seagulls? And we're nowhere near the sea. My first impressions of Montreal in September. <laughs> I just hope it's not doing this the whole time I'm here. I'm about a block away from my hostel and I would get poured upon if I walked right now. I'm under cover waiting for it to calm down. This is September the 29th. At a little after 5 o'clock in the afternoon in downtown Montreal. I certainly hope it's not like this my whole visit here. ornate wood. This is inside the cathedral, Notre Dame. It's the back chapel. It's all ornately carved wood. Never seen anything like this in my life. So, traffic jams everywhere in Montreal. Everywhere. There's some kind of a demonstration going on today, too. I think the police are now being called because they're blocking traffic up here.
la maison où je vais m'installer. Le roi me l'accorda, car la protection de mon Dieu était sur moi. Parole du Seigneur. I'm not really sure what the name of this church is, but it's gorgeous. So it's day two in Montreal. This is the view from my room. Nothing but a big tree in the back of buildings. It's still a little wet today. It's supposed to dry up before it's all said and done. It'll be pretty nice. 40s, 50s, 60s for the temps. Montreal hasn't sold me yet, but I think it will eventually. I'm very glad I'm here. It's a lot of fun. Today I went to some cathedrals, learned more about where the metro is at, took Uber into the next part of the city, went to some art museums. It's been very enjoyable, very relaxing. I don't feel like I wore myself out yet. They grow their own herbs here at the hostel. Today, looking nice. Waiting for my Uber on the way to Mount Royal Park. So this is the view that's worth all the huffing and puffing, huh? Yeah. It's amazing. Completely out of breath, but really amazing. It is nice. Ah. And the weather is so nice and cool, and this would be miserable if it was summertime trying to do this. So some have asked on Facebook on what the rooms look like for the hostel I'm staying at. First of all, it's um, no elevator. There is a swipe card to get you into the stairwell and a swipe card to get you into your front door. This is a two-room suite, probably about ten beds all together. Now granted, this is with luggage and everything here and there. There's two, four, six possible beds in here, and at least four to six possible beds in the other room. We have a window in each room. We have lockers to put our things in. They do provide locks. We can also provide our own. Luckily, they put me on the bottom bunk. Thank heavens for that. It uh, has heat. I don't know about air, because it is Canada. But we also share a bathroom which has sink, mirror, toilet, shower, and a window and places to hang towels and such. So that's the inside of what the rooms look like on a typical hostel. This is an HI hostel for Hostel International. It's kind of like the, um, I'd like to say, it's kind of the holiday inn of hostels in a way. They have higher standards than some of the other branded hostels. Some of the others may be privately owned and operated and they may have an HI affiliation, sometimes they do not. I prefer an HI affiliation simply because I know it's going to be clean and um, by the book. Everything is going to be run a certain way to know that you're not only your good location in town but your safety as a matter and you know so many other things, peace of mind. I have stayed at non-HI hostels in the past, and they are just fine. I would be um, reading the reviews a lot on my hostels of choice, 
and uh, that's how I made my decision with the other one. The um, hostel I stayed at, Ocean Island Hostel in Victoria, BC, I've stayed there twice. I would gladly stay there again. They used to have an HI affiliation, they do not anymore, but it doesn't seem to be a problem. It's a very clean, comfortable place and quite nice. So that's the indoors of the rooms typical of an HI hostel in this one being Montreal. <laughs> Refrigerators to store goodies for the week or for the few days. Keeping private in little baskets. A full kitchen. Pots, pans, plates, toasters, microwave. Yes, there are laundry facilities as well. Very affordable at that. Something you see a lot of here too are pay phones. All throughout the city, Bell has put lots and lots of pay phones. They're not disappearing like they are in the United States. You'll have to get used to lots of stairs.